Getting correct study materials is an important way to complete 1Y0-204 Citrix Virtual Apps and Desktop 7 Administration Exam. There are too many study materials and exam dumps online, so which one should be the best and the most accurate 1Y0-204 exam guide for your Citrix CCAV 1Y0-204 exam? We recommend that you can choose the new Citrix CCAV Certified 1Y0-204 test questions to prepare well. New Citrix CCAV Certified 1Y0-204 test questions from Pass Question. We have verified that the current version of Pass Question 1Y0-204 test questions is the latest in the whole market. Question 1. Which PowerShell command can be used to display all the Citrix services installed on the delivery controller? A. Get service display name site. B. Get service display name Citrix. C. Get service display name controller. D. Get service display name broker. Answer. B. Question 2. Which tool can a Citrix administrator use to collect information to investigate issues with session performance? A. CDF Control B. HDX Monitor C. Citrix Scout D. Citrix Health Assistant Answer, A. Question 3. Which two features within Citrix Director can a Citrix administrator use to view historical resource utilization for a machine running the Virtual Delivery Agent VDA? Choose 2. A. Alerts B. Dashboard C. Applications D. Search E. Trends Answer, C.E. Question 4. A user calls the help desk to report that when launching any application from within their published desktop session, it takes a long time and the overall performance is poor. Which Citrix Director report can a Citrix administrator use to initiate the investigation of the issue? A. Machine Utilization in Machine Details B. Launch Failures in Trends C. Load Evaluator in Trends D. Session Data in Filters Answer, C. Question 5 which tool should a Citrix administrator use when a user reports event ID 1022? The Citrix desktop service failed to register with any controller. A. HDX monitor. B. VDA cleanup utility. C. Citrix scout. D. Citrix health assistant. Answer D. Question 6. Which three methods can a Citrix administrator choose from when creating a featured app group for a set of applications? Choose 3. A. Application names. B. Installed locally. C. Keyword. D. Application category. E. Delivery group. Answer, A, C, D. Question 7. Scenario, a Citrix administrator needs to reduce costs by limiting users' printing sources. The administrator needs to stop automatic creation of all client printers in a session and map printers based on the floor of the building from which the user's session connects. 
Which two policies should the administrator configure to complete this task? Choose two. A. Printer properties retention. B. Auto create client printers. C. Direct connections to print servers. D. Session printers. Answer, CD. Question 8. Scenario, a Citrix administrator has enabled an HDX session printers policy within a Citrix virtual apps and desktop site. The administrator added a printer to a print server and assigned the printer to all users through a session printer policy. In addition, several local client printers are auto-created within HDX sessions. No other printing policies are configured. How will print jobs be routed when users send print jobs to a printer managed by the print server? A. Directly to the network print server and then to the specified printer. B. Over the HDX virtual channel to the specified printer attached to the print server. C. Directly from the session virtual delivery agent VDA machine to the printer. D. Over the HDX virtual channel, through the endpoint, and then to the print server. Answer, A. Question 9. Scenario, a Citrix administrator is enabling TLS secure connections between the cloud connectors and on-premises storefront. After configuring the TLS certificate on all cloud connectors and disabling HTTP connections, the administrator finds that no resources are being enumerated. Which extra step does the administrator need to take to allow enumeration to work between on-premises storefront and Citrix Cloud? A. Configure Internet Information Services IIS on the storefront server to use HTTPS. B. Change transport type to HTTPS in the storefront store DDC list. C. Configure cloud connectors to allow unsecured connections. D. Install Internet Information Services IIS on the cloud connector. Answer, B.